Hi everybody and welcome back to my One Division reactions. Today we are watching episode 7, Breaking the Fourth Wall. Um, it is the exact same length as the last episode, so that's very exciting, although I would like it to be longer. Please, please make the other episodes be longer, but you know, I'm not going to complain. It's more One Division. I love this show. Um, last time on One Division, Pietro. Pietro was asking a lot of questions and I don't think he's Pietro. I think he's some imposter or something like that. I don't know. I don't. I haven't read the comment the comics so i don't know who he could be but i don't think he's any sort of pietro um wanda saw him as dead pietro but he still had evan evan peter's face or evan's peter's face um which was very interesting and then vision left the boundary for the first time and he was turning into little tiny pieces and slowly dying so yeah very interesting stuff all of sword is gone besides hayward and like two other people and then monica and uh Jim, Jimmy. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm too excited to keep talking. So I hope you enjoy my reaction to WandaVision episode seven, Breaking the Fourth Wall. It is my intention. Oh yeah, I forgot. And they, they untranced Agnes, but then that made my theory kind of feel weak because I thought she was not under Wanda's trance, but I guess she is, unless she was faking it, which would be really cool. Uh, uh, put me in the Marvel Orchestra. Vision isn't there. Intentionally <laughs> expanding the borders of the false world we created. <laughs> it's like she's hungover. <laughs> Uno's fun though. But this episode is sponsored by Uno. Maybe Hasbro. My head feels weird. It's like really noisy. I don't like it. Noisy head. What's going on? <laughs> I love these talks to the camera and the zoom. She's still in her outfit. That's beautiful. <laughs> She's so out of it. Too funny. Wait, that's one of the brothers. That looked like one of the kids. That looked like one of the kids. Wanda, 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 Wanda. Are you okay, Wanda? Oh, I guess Sword is still alive. Just fragments of it. Cast. Dead air. The signal's gone. You know, I hate Hayward. Like, I hope he gets sucked into this heck. Oh my god, yeah, the circus. Oh, the aspect ratio. Whenever the aspect ratio changes, it's so cool. Come on. Darcy! Um, hard pass. If only she could have done that earlier before she got sucked into the hex. What's up with her? I guess she knows that he's not gonna find the hex. No answers. <laughs> I, zip, zero, zero. She's she's getting a little <laughs> crazy. Good time, because she was one split end away from cutting her own bangs. <sighs> you don't want to do that. Bite. Mm. I actually did bite a kid once. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You two could take a quick look. I'd appreciate it. It's right here. <laughs> I love Agnes. Man, everything was good until the TV change. I'm fine. When someone says, I'm fine, multiple times, they're not fine. <laughs> oh, what'd you find? R&D reports. They're gonna see their astrophysicist. Who is it? He would want his sentient weapon back. They were trying to, Sword was also trying to revive Vision. There they are. Oh, who, who is it? 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 Let me show you what we brought you. What? What is it? Is it a who or is it a what? Oh, it's the check that she needed. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Looks like a moon rover. Yes. Yes. Lewis, I have questions. I have answers. Should we take this convo on the road? Excellent. Oh, she's not getting re 
stuffed. Restuffed. I don't know. And who is that imposter Pietro? It's me. <laughs> she has no answers. Okay, she has like one answer. We were double booked. <laughs> oh. The stork's back. You're not supposed to talk. Oh. Oh, the ad again. Or the reality of your choice. If I to say she was flying there. You. Or does it? Ah. Uh, I like that ad. That's a good one. <laughs> Funny cameo from the second episode. Any for your thoughts. Is this Agnes's house? Are we gonna get to see Ralph? You're quiet, Agnes. <gasps> she isn't being controlled by Wanda. Okay. She, I don't know. I just that's that is just what I think. I want to see Ralph so bad. I said it looked like a moon rover, and now they're wearing like astronaut outfits. How much faith you have in this thing? It's our most heavily armored space rover. Oh, it is a space rover. Who's a genius? I'm a genius. Good check. On your order, Captain. We are go to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Take off. Mission. We have lift off. In five. Ooh. I'm close. It's gonna get. The density is matching her. Oh my god, what the heck? Monica, get out of there! Go Monica, go Monica, go Monica, go, 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 leave, 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 leave. <laughs> half pickup, half moon rover, that is so cool. Looks like the barrier's gotten more powerful. No, I can get through. No, Monica, you can't. Monica, go, no, Monica! Maybe it's too dangerous, maybe? These from Captain Marvel. Oh, 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 Woo. nice Monica, her eyes are different, her eyes look different, does she have powers now, wait, she can see in eight dimensions, whoa, that's so pretty, I think she's got her powers now, time and he'll do himself. There are a few extra steps, but... <laughs> right? Whoa! Wanda doesn't want them to come back. ...was born of Ultron's plan for global genocide. <laughs> yeah. What is he now? That is a good question, though. He is... Or he does seem... Yeah, and her outfit hasn't changed, which is interesting. The word was trying to bring him down. Stop talking about that. I don't want to hear about it. Oh my god. Oh no, that wasn't us. All you do is lie! <laughs> oh! Oh! She's got her powers, baby. She's got her powers. ...to get what he wants. Don't let him make you the villain. Oh no. Maybe I already am. Uh, Wanda, not yet. Oh, but the smile. All right, maybe she is. Never mind. Agnes, what are you gonna do? Agnes, come on. Pull up, Agnes. Wanda, Young you lady. I think you overstayed your welcome. What? Run along, dear. A Agnes? Wait, Agnes is really creepy now. Is Agnes trying to control Wanda? What? Agnes, what are you doing? Is Agnes the creator of all of this? What am I doing here? Sitting, talking to you. <laughs> oh, here. Oh my God, I really want to see Ralph. I really want to see Ralph. Right back with that. Oh, I, I, I. Why did Agnes interfere there? I think it's because she's helping. I don't think she's creating this universe, but I think she's helping in some way. What if Ralph is the bunny? Oh my god, yeah, where are the Wait. I just got some chills. What the heck? The 
this become a horror movie now? <sighs> Wanda, 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 Wanda. Oh my god, never go in a basement. Um. What? <laughs> what is happening, guys? What is happening? Is this Agnes's witch's lair? Oh my god, what is that? You didn't think you were the only magical girl in town, did you? Ah! Oh, and she has purple. The name's Agatha Harkness. Oh! It's been Agatha all along. She has. She was Quicksilver. I killed Sparky too. <laughs> no. Okay, I don't like Agnes anymore. Uh, I don't. That's it. That's it. Hold on. I was scrolling through the credits. I had put my camera away. I had kind of set up. I had kind of finished putting everything away, and there was an after credit scene that I didn't notice. So <sighs> let's keep watching. Monica. Okay. Is she looking for Agnes? That's a nice house, by the way. I like the blue. Okay. Snooper's gonna snoop. <gasps> and that was my reaction to WandaVision episode 7, Breaking the Fourth Wall. Ooh, that was a pretty good episode. I wouldn't say it was my favorite episode, but it was definitely a very good episode, especially those last 10 minutes, like most of the episodes, those last 10 minutes were amazing to watch um i thought this episode was very heavily sitcom um there wasn't a lot of the outside world it was very heavily sitcom but i enjoyed this era of sitcom so i enjoyed it um but yeah it was way more sitcom than i thought it was going to be but that's not a complaint it was just kind of like i didn't think it was going to be that much sitcom um, I really like the fourth wall breaks. The fourth wall breaks were really cool. And especially those like one-on-ones with the cameras, with the camera crew, those were really interesting. Um, and just very fun to watch. Um, okay, we're gonna get into it because I'm just gonna, I'm too excited. Agnes was faking it all along. Oh my God, she is Agatha Harkness. Oh. See, I didn't know what character she was. I've heard people say that name, but I didn't know, like, really what that character was. But, like, she's so witchy. She has a witchy lair. She has that witchy laugh that she did in the last episode. Like, oh my god. So she has been controlling, at least this is what the show says, she's been con controlling everything. She was Pietro. She was, like, a bunny. Maybe the bunny is Ralph still. Maybe she turned her husband into a bunny. Theories theories right theories no <laughs> um but man that reveal was really creepy and really cool and what did she do with the kids are the kids just gone did, what did she create the kids in the first place did she construct the kids so that wanda would have the kids but then she can control them because she constructed them like what happened to the kids but that wouldn't really make sense because wanda actually gave birth to them I don't know. I don't know which, what she did with uh, Billy and Tommy, but oh, I cannot wait to find out. I really like her purple powers, which is really cool. Um, and again, I think the next two episodes, there's only two episodes left, and I think the next two are going to be phenomenal. Um, also, Monica has her powers, which is really cool. I don't know what her superhero name is in the comics, but she has her powers, and I don't even know what her powers are right now. But as soon as she came out of uh, that, out of the hex wall thing, and her eyes were a different color, I was like, "Oh, I think she has powers." And then she saw like everything in this weird color scheme, which was really, really beautiful, by the way. But I don't know; it was really interesting. Um, and then she managed to like when she fell, when Wanda had her in the air, and Wanda let go, and she fell, and she did like superhero landing. That's when you knew she had her powers because she did a superhero landing, like as Deadpool would say, "Superhero landing." <laughs> um yeah i thought vision in this episode was pretty good he didn't really have much to do uh he was with darcy trying to like talk to her trying to figure out what was happening and obviously darcy doesn't have that many answers about the hex itself but she can answer him questions about his past life 
so that's what she was doing. I thought their stuff was the least exciting that was happening. Um, there weren't as many reveals as maybe I was hoping Darcy would say. She just kind of told him that he had died, and then Thanos revived him, and then he had died again. Um, but yeah, I thought it was the least interesting part of this episode, but I'm very interested to see what's going to happen now that Vision is going back to find Wanda, and Wanda is with Agnes in her secret underground lair, so I'm super excited. Um, I also was a little sad that we didn't get to see the astrophysicist Monica kept talking about. I think she said it was a guy, and then I thought they were, I thought they were driving to see him, but then no one was there. So I was a little confused by that. If the astrophysicist was there and she and she was that army lady, then I just didn't recognize her. But if he wasn't there, or she or he wasn't there, then I'm excited to see who it is still. But I'm kind of sad that he's still not in the show and they didn't even mention him today or her today. Yeah, besides that, again, I thought Darcy was okay. Darcy, I like Darcy as a character, but again, she didn't have much to do this episode. She was just kind of driving it at it for some comedic humor. Um, and Wanda in this episode, how did I forget about Wanda? Wanda in this episode was really cool. Um, she was definitely like, she's definitely struggling to control herself now with everything changing. Um, I really like those effects, by the way, with everything changing. Um, and when she was talking to the camera and the camera guy spoke and she's like, you're not supposed to talk. You can really tell that she's starting to lose control. And then the advertisement as well really lended itself to that, where it's like, she's kind of probably getting on the verge of feeling better about this world or but not about the world i mean like about real life and that vision's actually gone so maybe that's what the ad was kind of talking to like like wonder you're almost there then you can take this like you have to be feeling okay you have to be able to feel your emotions again and feeling your emotions is good you know so i think that's maybe what is happening with wanda yeah besides that uh it's just kind of very fresh in my mind and i was just kind of blabbering so yeah, I'm very excited for the next episodes. Um, I'm sad Pietro was in this episode, um, but he seems like he, he was created by Agnes, which was very interesting. I didn't think he would be created by Agnes. If Agnes was doing some stuff, I still didn't think he was being created by her, so that was a cool little plot twist. But yeah, I, I'm i very curious to see what one what one is going to do, what Agnes is up to, and why Agnes is doing this in the first place and what is going to happen to Vision in the next two episodes. So stay tuned, and thank you for watching my reaction and listening to my review. And I'll see you all next Friday for WandaVision Episode 8.